traffic call. Oh. Another call if you want to okay. switch over. No, a four eight. Go ahead. We have a more recent right whale mother calf pair hiding. So you said the right whale mom calf pair was sighted at nine twenty five. Do kind of a flat pass over the point and start circling. Okay, sounds great. Thanks, guys. We've got uh, about 28 knots of wind up here, so it's going to be a little windy on the circling, but we'll get it dialed in. Awesome. All right, so they're at 11 o'clock, Nick. Got them. Three, two, one, mark, confirmed, mark. mother calf pair. Okay. Windows coming out. Looks like, Ashley, they're both at the surface right now. I see them. Okay. One of the right whale mother calf pairs that we got a chance to sight was Calvin. Um, her number is 2223. Calvin was orphaned at eight months, I think. Her mother was hit by a ship um, and killed, and researchers didn't know if she would survive or not at that young age, um, but she did. So they named her after the spunky uh, cartoon character, Calvin, of <laughs> Calvin and Hobbes. Calvin actually had a calf in 2015. That was her most recent calf up until this season, and so we were really excited. And any time we get a chance to see a calf, it's always exciting to know that uh, another whale has made it into the population. Yes, they're so uh, critically endangered. There's around 400 in the population, so any data that we can have, especially on real time from an aerial perspective, is going to be invaluable to the scientific community. Knowing that one of the threats to these critically endangered whales are ship strikes, knowing that where they are and in real time sending that information out to commercial vessels, military crafts that are navigating through the waters on the cabin grounds is extremely important to their survival and so by being able to pass that information along in real time gives them that fighting chance for at least one more day.